Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Multiplying powers and what we call pretty much the exponent rule. Whenever we're multiplying powers, let's look at pretty much an expression as what is a power. So we have here, example, 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. A total of 3 times. Okay? So what we have, whenever we have a power, we have what we call our base, and that is our exponent. So, whenever we are multiplying powers, let's look at uh, a power as follows. 2, let's say, to the power of 3 multiplied 2 to the power of 4. What this means is, as we said, 2 is being multiplied by itself here at 3 times. 2 times 2 times 2. It's going to be multiplied by 2 multiplied by itself another 4 times. Okay. So what we have here, here's the first set, here was our second set. In total, we have 2 being multiplied by itself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So another way to write that is 2 to the power of 7. Now, we don't have to do all this in order to be able to get our answer. All we need to do is, whenever we are multiplying powers, as long as they have the same base, okay, as long as they have the same base, we just add the exponents. So, in this example here, we would keep the base, which is 2. We would add our exponents, 3 plus 4, which would give us 2 to the power of 7. So, let's look at some more examples. Let's look at y to the power of 5 multiplied by y to the power of 12. Instead of me multiplying y by itself 5 times and then y multiplied, all we know is, based on our rule, what we said, okay, when we are multiplying powers, we are going to keep the base, okay, and remember that the base must be the same. Why? Why? What we do here is we add the exponents. So, y to the power of 5 times y to the power of 12. We keep the base, which is y, and we add 5 plus 12 to give us a total of y to the power of 17. Okay, now here's another example. 2 to the power of 3 times, let's say, 3 to the power of 2. What we said is we're going to keep the base. Can we keep the base? Well, here in this example, one base is 2, the other base is 3. In other words, we cannot do this. We can find an answer, but we cannot simplify the expression. So the bases would have to be the same for us to be able to do that. Okay. Now, let's say we had an example. Let's, let's, let's do another example. 2 um, y to the power of 5 multiplied by 3 
y to the power of 3. As we said, when we are multiplying powers with the same base, we're going to keep the base. But the base, when we have this, what we're looking at, don't worry about the numbers. Here, the numbers were the only base that we had. But here, associated with these numbers is a base of y. So the y's are the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the base y. We're going to add our exponents, but we're going to keep in mind the rule for multiplying. Well, we're multiplying. We're just going to multiply our numbers. 2 times 3 will give me 6. So my answer would be 6y to the power of 5 plus 3, which when we add these two values together, we would get 6y to the power of 8. So notice here, we multiply our numbers. We're going to multiply these two powers, the y to the 5, y to the 3. We keep the base, which was y, and we add our exponents.